A day with meeting with the lovely Anna Harris with Live 5 News covering the sure North Carolina devastation. Things of that nature, but it wasn't like a situation like I feel like we've had in the past, like Hurricane Matthew, where we have almost a week notice and everybody's at the store and they're getting water and they're getting toilet paper and they're stocking up and um, they weren't prepared for what happened, let alone complete devastation. And have limited or no communication with their friends and family um, that have lost their primary residence. Obviously, they're much more priority over me, um, but having that it's a large investment and our love and our, our, the, our sacred place that we go to, um, it's, it's scary just not being able to be there to see it, be there to help it, know what needs to be done. Um, we're kind of stuck right now because there's, we can't get there. So, well, obviously, um, anybody owning a Airbnb or long-term rental, short-term rental, long-term rental, um, it's going to impact significantly financially because you're going to have to cover if you have a mortgage on the property, which most do, you'll have to cover the cost of that mortgage in between on top of your, um, utility costs, your electric, your, um, cable, internet, things of that nature and keep that going. Um, without having the income to cover it, taxes, insurance, all of that on a monthly basis when people like us that own Airbnbs and long-term rentals count on that income to cover those costs plus some, because um, obviously the goal of an investment is to gain money as well. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's going to be pretty significant to just being a real estate agent mm -hmm. be, do investments and so we have Airbnbs and we had right. so we had Hendersonville and Lake Lore. Um, now we just have Lake Lore, but that's like our heart too. Like mm -hmm. my second marriage husband and I got married Correct. there, hence buying a property there. We've done all mm -hmm. of our, you know, mm -hmm. our time and our memories at all the places that are no longer there. Right. Um, and have started getting connected with a lot of people in the community. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, the, like I said, the guy I reached out to this morning because I'm like, okay, I'm going to... Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you did get a chance to watch this, my main goal for accepting the interview with Live 5 was to provide the resources for the folks that are living there that are living through this tragedy and have lost homes and their belongings and family members and friends and businesses. Uh, please do what you can to help. I've provided some links here and I have additional available as well. Do everything you can to help they are in need of it and it's going to be a very long time before everything is rebuilt and restored back to what it once was.